my friends, welcome to the Vitruvian Live. My name is Kurt, and today is Monday, February 11th. Um, first of all, thank you again for all your comments on all the recent uh, videos, recent episodes, uh, especially about the culling of the um, collections. Uh, if you haven't seen the previous Vitruvian Live yet, that's where I respond to those two uh, episodes about it because there were a lot of uh, responses so I uh, decided to make an episode to respond to your comments so if you have had commented uh, go check that out uh, I mentioned all your comments there um, at least the ones that were entered before I made the latest one uh, oh I don't know how, that, how I'm saying it all um, and the cat is playing with the camera again. Robinson. No. Robinson. Cats. <laughs> they make me look so amateuric. Um, amateuric. Amateuric. Amateuristic. Oh, God. So, the culling thing. Um, I'm going to cull games. Uh, which games? I don't know yet. Um, I already uh, sent a message to the guy that wants to buy my Star Wars Rebellion, who gave the clue maybe it's time to part with that game uh, I told him okay we can maybe make some deal so that's the first one I will put other games I think on Facebook that's the first place where I will start games that I will not get, be able to rid of get rid of we'll see what happens but what I wanted to talk about today is uh, so the title of this video will be fading friendship or fading friendships I'm not sure yet Will be. Uh, the, I will do that with by with editing. But so, uh, I got this friend, and it has been a while. Uh, ten years ago, about ten years ago, I uh, separated from my ex girlfriend, and um, he's the one. Uh, then I start spending a lot of time with that friend of mine. Uh, we hang out quite a lot uh, we did every actually we did everything together while we were working and we were bored we called each other um, in evenings we were either he was at my place I was at his place we had fun we went to uh, to a bar uh, we played PlayStation we did uh, we went on vacation three times uh, we went to Barcelona we went to Turkey uh, great fun uh, probably the craziest year of my life um, so that happened so um, after a year of having that friendship both of us got into a relationship uh, me with Elise who I married at this time and he got into a relationship with his uh, current wife so also he got married he and they have two children so uh, and at the beginning we still managed to uh, have evenings with the four of us or with other friends together and we doing things having dinner together uh, doing the playstation uh, whatever uh, doing all kinds of things in the summer we did barbecue uh, he's also a member of my my uh, futsal team so i i saw him there every week um, but as soon as they as they got their first child, uh, that was uh, that changed quite a bit. And and recent years, last years, well, I, I must say it it it, it bothered me. Uh, I felt I didn't like it because it's, we we were very close friends, and uh, I missed the time we had. Uh, together not only the year that we were single uh, but also when uh, the f at the beginning of when both of us had a new relationship we still could hang out and do stuff and the more years went by each time we reached out to do something uh, most of the times they say yeah okay let's do something and I start to get into board games and uh, she's a Star Wars fan so I bought Imperial Assault to play together and we did that two or three times 
but last year's uh, every time we send a message to maybe do something together uh, sometimes now they say yes uh, most of the time they either have an excuse I don't want to call the excuse as a problem. So there's always something, right? They already have something to do. They almost every time someone of the family is is sick, um, and at a certain moment you give up, and that's a sad thing. I don't want to give up this friendship, but. At a certain moment, you it feels like you're doing the effort to reaching out to someone that you just want to hang out with. Just I don't know what. She, 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 I for example, and I'm not sure. I don't think he watches this video. So, um, so he's in my futsal team, and he hasn't played any uh, game this year. And I, I'm trying to get back into the, the, the futsal. I'm trying. I'm, I'm feeling better, and I'm trying to get back into it. And Wednesday we have a new game, and, and um, it's earlier in the evening. So I thought I would ask him if he felt like joining us again uh, once more, uh, because I'm uh, I'm probably going. And it's not that far from here, and he also not far from him where he lives. And again, he said uh, after almost 20 i think after 24 hours waiting for an answer he said like, no can do uh my son is sick i'll have to stay uh and and my wife is sick and i have to stay with the kids uh that, so and after a while after every time getting a no as an answer an apologetic no yeah he apologizes for it but after a while you feel like you're wasting your time trying to to, to see an old friend because it, it's it's starting to be an old friend and that's sad and I, I feel really sad about it and there were times that I had I, as I was even feeling really bad about it uh, when when we it looked like we weren't f really friends anymore just someone I I know instead of a friend and on the other hand I know if I call him and if he picks up the phone because he doesn't pick up the phone that easy and uh, he and I have a problem he will be there for me I know that but on the other hand it's like he it's it, it's like he's gone from my life it's not a it's not a part of my life anymore and that's that feels really sad and there are he's not the only one there are more people i there is uh there is this girl that that i used to work with together and we were great friends also we had a time where i was uh, at her place uh, very often we watched we, we played playstation because she was a big playstation freak uh, and uh, a geek as well. We she, we watched the complete Stargate series together uh, and stuff like that. And also now I hear once from her each year, and that's on my birthday. Uh, and that's when I invite her to come over and, and join us to play some board games. Uh, but again, it is it is it's always me that reaches out. And after a while, you feel like, why am I even bothering? And that's sad. So I just wanted to let this go I, I needed to 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 talk about this today uh it's not a fun subject it's a little bit sad only i'm i'm okay but after that message from today again that he, again he couldn't make it two weeks ago he couldn't make we were going to play snooker and he was go, going to come and in the end he cancelled because again someone was sick at home and uh I, it's just sad and I feel a little bit sad about it anyway uh, that's it for today uh, thank you for watching tomorrow I think I'm going to if I have kept nothing interesting to talk about besides that I think I'm going to talk about first time I played uh, uh, Betrayal Legacy maybe I played that Saturday that was uh, interesting and fun so uh, I'll, I'll talk about that maybe tomorrow if I uh, if I don't have anything else thanks for listening to my 
complaining. Uh, sorry about a little bit more downer this episode, but uh, I'm still appreciating that you're watching this. And uh, well, feel free to comment if you have anything uh, of experience in this kind of things. I think I just think friends come and go, right? Uh, that's the way it is, probably. Thank you for watching. You are my friends as well. And I am glad that you're all here. And I hope to see you all tomorrow. I think it's the next episode. So bye-bye. And thank you again.